when you log into the class, um, hopefully you're seeing this page right here. This is the course homepage. Um, if you don't see it and you see this entire screen here, then you need to just click on the menu so you open up what I refer to as tabs. You'll see me as in emails or, or I'll direct you to the you know video lecture tab or the due dates tab, things like that. So these are called tabs. Right here is your course home tab, which is where you will end up you know when you log into the course and, and click on the, the MAT 150 um, so here's my announcement um, you know if you don't see it you know click that little drop down that arrow and to see if there's anything I've posted right here is kind of a calendar you know um, I'm obviously recording this well before the 20th but everything's available to you and, you, you know, you'll be here on the 20th, but you'll see things are starting to turn due already. And if you notice, the pretest is due after the first three assignments, but that's just because I have to give people till the 28th. If you wait till the 28th, take the pretest and start your work, you are way behind already. Okay? So get busy immediately after watching this video and get started okay so this is just a way to kind of see when things are due there's other ways to see where things are due here is you know breaks it down the date of the pretest and, and other assignments but you have to do the pretest before you can every before you can do your other work so make sure you do that um, run your browser check make sure you're you're using the appropriate website web browser Internet Explorer does not do well um, with my math lab for whatever reason so either use uh, Chrome I think uh, Mozilla is the best because Chrome I think from my understanding does apps and sometimes some videos are hard to view on Chrome so if I were you I would do either Safari or Mozilla but that's just me I'm old um, how to enter answers. It's not a bad idea to click on that just to kind of get familiar with where things are. Uh, sometimes you got access fractions, parentheses, things like that. It'll take you through there. Uh, you know, th this kind of gives you an overall progress. So there's a lot of, of good information here on the opening page. Um, announcements, I'm not going to go there. Start here, you've been there. Um, so here's just the instructor information. Um, you know, I don't hold office hours in the summer, but again, my name is Bob Biega. Um, you know, they're by appointment, um, so hopefully if, we, if you really need to see me, we can find a time. Not always easy because sometimes they, you know, uh, are cleaning and things like that, and it's hard to get in my office. Um, not always, but sometimes. Uh, email my preferred method of contact. Please be patient. I mean, you know, if you email me at midnight, I'm obviously not going to answer you till the next day. I'm sleeping. Um, I don't get notifications for emails on my phone, but I do check it frequently. Uh, normally, I will get back with you shorter than 24 hours, but I like to just give me some leeway just in case something happens. Okay, but tw weekends, who knows? I could be out of town. I could be doing things where I'm just not checking my email. So, you know, you've got to be patient, and I will work it out. We'll work it out, so don't panic. Um, the syllabus, you know, please, I would print this. Um, click on the link there, you know, and have it because it has more contact information for me, my division dean, links. Uh, we have uh, the course competencies, the course description, you know, to make sure you're uh, placed appropriately. Here's information about the 60% you need on the final exam. Nothing I can do about it. That's our policy. I can't just, you know, disregard it. Here's your technology. Read through that. Um, you're in the course, so obviously you've got the course ID. Um, you know, I will say if you are getting temporary access, um, you know, you've got 14 days to upgrade to full access. There are instructions on the registration handout on how to uh, go from temporary to full access. Make sure you read that.
um, attendance or optional textbook. You don't need a hard copy. It's an ebook. So, you know, no need to spend money on it. Calculator. Uh, there are certain calculators that we do not allow in the tutoring and the uh, proctoring lab. So make sure that your calculator is not one of these um, and you have the, the right one to take with you to your test. Um, attendance. Okay. Um, log in once a week. To, uh, at least to be uh, in, in line with the attendance policy. Talked about the pretest, so make sure you do that. Uh, email policy, talked about that. Class structure, do not procrastinate and get behind. Okay, you've got to be self motivated, self disciplined. Um, the guided schedule, designed to just help you keep up with the deadlines. You should be spending about six to nine hours per week on this course, maybe more, or well, maybe more. Okay, but you are encouraged to work ahead. Uh, you can do anything. I mean, you can do this course in a week if you want to. You just got to find a proctor. Um, homework. Uh, I'll go. I'll show you where that is. It's twenty percent of your grade. Exams. Okay, they're located and take a test. There's two or three different places to find things. But here again, talk about the final exam must be proctored. It's twenty percent of your grade, and you've got to pass it. Okay, late work. Okay, there are due dates. Late work is subject to a 10% penalty. Makeup work. I allow one extension on a missed test, but you need to contact me. Okay, if you miss more than one, you get a zero. Here's your grading scale. Incompletes. Uh, it's got to be something really, really traumatic, tragic, to where you cannot um, finish the course. Uh, then the withdrawal policy, you can go June 26th. There's a link there that takes you to the website. Things have changed as far as withdrawing. Um, at BCTC, you can withdraw on your own now. Uh, I, I do give that permission. So, you know, just go to the web page and it'll kind of take you through the steps. Here are links for policies and procedures. If you have an accommodation, you need to go through the DSS office. I cannot accommodate you without any uh, written documentation from them. Uh, you can read through this other stuff. And here's your course outline. Now, this is also the same thing I have in the due dates document, but it kind of gives you a pacing. And you'll see, it's like every three, four days something's due. So, you know, it's a six-week course. Two and a half times faster than a regular semester. So you're going to be busy. So if you're not ready for this, you know, you need to think about it. But if you're, you know, all ready and you're good and you think you can handle it, then, then go for it. Okay. But, but it's not one of those, uh, it's not one of these classes you can take a week off. Okay. It's got to be doing something every day, every other day at the most. Okay. And again, um, some more information about the final. I mean, you know, if you don't know the final needs to be proctored and that you must pass it, then you don't read my information. You're not reading my information or not watching my videos because I, I tell you this too many times. All right, so that's the syllabus. Um, you know, I, I, I here's the discussion board. And, you know, just give me a little shout out. Uh, we're trying to become more interactive with our students in online courses. So this is kind of my first attempt at, you know, more interaction than you emailing me, asking me questions, and me emailing you stuff out, maybe some interaction within each other. So feel free to reply to other members' posts. Get to know each other. So please, um, take a minute or two to, to give me a shout out. The video lectures. These are, I know I'm really creative with my names. Uh, my daughter gets on me quite often and, and says, Dad, your video's 1.1. I'm like, well, that's what it is. Um, so, you know, they, they go along with the homework, with the sequence of, 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 of stuff in the class. So if you get stuck, watch them. Now, I did make these for my on-campus classes. But I thought, hey, why not just upload them to my online class? So there may be a mention of homework due or things like that. Disregard anything like that. Just watch them for the instruction purposes only. Due dates. There's the document I talked about. Same as what I just showed you on the syllabus. Okay. Um, you know, when things are due, they're due midnight Eastern Standard Time. So if you're out in Western Kentucky or on Central Time somewhere, that's actually going to be 11 p.m. your time. 
Okay, um, I give two hours for exams, so if you want the full two hours, you've got to be two hours before the deadline. Okay, you can't start at 11 and think you're going to get two hours because it's going to cut off at midnight. Uh, your graded homework. This is where your homework is located. As you can see, all these green arrows means I got to do the pretest before I can do these other assignments. So the pretest is not like some long, hard thing. It'd probably take you three, four minutes at the most. Um, so just get in there, take it. it you, there's acknowledgments in there about due dates, um, you know, other information that you just need to, to answer yes or no to. Okay. Uh, here's some extra practice. I create extra practice problems. They are optional, and if, once you open it up, read, 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 read. These are optional. These can be done online in the study plan, or you, if you like pencil and paper, you can just go to the ebook and pull them up and do them on pencil and paper. Okay, but they are optional. Uh, take a test. That's kind of where your tests are located. Okay, uh, the grade book will go over your grade. So if you want to kind of see where you are, what you've submitted. Now, basically, you get graded on what you've done until the end of the semester, and then I assign zeros to what you haven't completed. So, you know, it could change. If you're not doing all your work, your grade's going to be a little bit uh, uh, inaccurate. The study plan is where you can do the extra practice, or you can just go in here and work. Um, you can you know, um, choose chapters that you want to work through. So if I want to work on stuff from chapter one, I can go to whatever section I'm having trouble with and do some practice. Um, and, you know, fine. But your homework, um, you can work. You know, one thing I didn't mention, your homework you can do as many times as you want to get up to the hundred. Uh, now, once you submit it, you can just go back through there, and it'll tell you to give you the option that you're going to improve your score. That's fine. So, you know, uh, once you access the homework, if you want to improve your score, just go back through graded homework and click on it again, and it'll give you that option. Okay, but you can work your homework many times as you want. I encourage that. It helps you learn. Um, chapter contents: the book. Here's your ebook. Okay. Proctored final exam information. Read through this. Here are links to the BCTC Testing Center, other KCTCS test sites, and ProctorU. ProctorU is a service that allows you to take your final at home. Okay, some people can't get away. Um, it's going to cost you extra, depending on how much time you want. Could be 20, could be 30, and you have to have a webcam. Okay, um, so, but that is an option to you. I get three or four students each class every semester to use it. Um, but read through this to make sure you know what you can bring um, and just refer to it as the date gets closer to the final exam. I've also listed some helpful hints for each section. So you, you can click on which one you want, scroll to the bottom, and there's the hint. It's not really examples, it's just kind of like processes. I believe in process and procedures. Grading policy, I give you an example on how I calculate your grade. The multimedia library, um, you can pick which section you're working on, which chapter, and you can see other items available to you that I don't have. Like I have my video lectures, the author has video lectures, and you can find for every section what's available to you and use it as a resource. Uh, here's the BCTC tutoring information and the online tutoring. This is BrainFuse. These are the instructions. You can access BrainFuse through Blackboard. How to drop the class. Right here. If you're a BCTC student, we have a link, and like I talked about earlier with dropping the class, you can do most of it now on your own. Um, these are the videos, the textbook videos, author in action videos. Again, guided lecture notes are go along with the author in action videos. They are not mine. 
and then that's about it. I mean, there's email. You don't see a lot of this stuff, but there is email stuff. You can either email other people or email me with. But um, before, you know, we leave here, I want to show you one thing on the homework because, you know, I've given you a lot of stuff today. And, um, you know, it's a lot to remember. But when you work your homework, okay, um, I go to question one. And maybe I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what to do. So there's a question help box. And mostly all of your homework, not everything, I never say everything, but mostly all of them give you these options. If you can help me solve this, you can view an example, you can go to the textbook that's associated with the problem, you can ask me. That's the best way. Send me a question from the problem so I know what your problem is that you're working on. Uh, I've had students just email me stuff, and I'm like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. So send me an email through the question itself, unless, of course, it's just a general question. Um, but, you know, if you help me solve this, you're, you don't get credit for it, but it's going to take you step by step. So these are good, you know, help resources, okay? And then I'm going to leave the page. And it's fine. I can come back to it any day and work it, okay? Um, so, so that's something in the homework, okay? So that's about it. Um, you know, I really do want everybody to be successful. I've always been that way. Um, you know, I'll try to do what I can. Sometimes people get frustrated with online courses, but, you know, it's the nature of the beast. You know, you don't get that daily personal contact. Um, so a lot of it is on you. Um, you know, without seeing people every day, it's kind of hard to, you know, give you a day-to-day -day assistance. So you've got to reach out to me uh, when you're having trouble, and, and I'll do what I can. So good luck to you. Uh, get started. I mean, you need to get busy. Don't be like exiting out and leaving for two days, because then all of a sudden you're going to find yourself trying to catch up. So good luck to you, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.